Hey guys, your boy Star here, and today let me show you guys how to actually level up foraging fast. So in my previous videos, I showed how to level up farming fast, how to level up fishing fast, but in this video, I'm me teaching you guys how to level up foraging fast. So there is, like I said in the previous video, there's a lot of methods to level up foraging. So let's get straight into these methods. All right. So first off, for foraging, you're obviously going to need an axe. So what kind of axes should you be using in High Pixel Skyblock? Right here, I have three axes. One of them is like a beginner, and then the, and the second one's like a, you know, you're kind of mid game, and then like the last one kind of late game, end game, you know, kind of tool. So what you want to use first is like, if you're just starting out foraging, what you want to be using is a jungle axe. A jungle axe is a powerful wooden axe, which can break multiple logs in a single hit. So it, it's like the tree capitator, what I'm going to explain in a second, but it's like, it breaks a very small amount of logs. It doesn't bring as much as a tree capitator. Tree capitator basically breaks down the whole tree. But with the jungle axe, you're basically breaking down like like a bit of the tree. But still a pretty good beginner. So next up, we have the golden axe. Now, you could use this early game to mid game, really. It's a gold axe with a efficiency 5 telekinesis 1. So you can add efficiency 5 telekinesis 1 to your jungle axe. With the golden axe, if you have a haste 3 potion, and then and then if you have a haste 3 potion pretty much you go into your potion bag so to make the haste 3 potion all you want to do is you need a coal you need a what's it called you need enchanted glowstone dust you need enchanted redstone dust and i'll make an 18 minute 52 second potion wait let me just fire my island for a second um i, I don't even know how to fire an island what the heck uh island settings yeah, it's just, just no one at all. Okay, wait. Alright, so basically, that's for that. Um, now, if you have hasty and a gold axe, it'll do pretty good for foraging. I mean, not pretty good, but it'll do a really good job. Last up, uh, the last axe is called the tree capitator. It's like the jungle axe, but pretty much breaks down the whole tree. Pretty much, you know, like pretty much breaks down the whole tree. Now, they're both two second cooldowns. Now, there's actually a pet that can reduce the cooldown of these uh the tree capitator and the jungle axe which i'm going to be explaining in a second so now that you have your axe ready like for example i'm using tree capitator what kind of armor set should you be using for foraging now there's actually three types of armor sets you could be using for foraging uh, what kind of armor sets are these the first one is young dragon armor it makes you really fast and especially if you have like speed potions or like a ocelot pet i'm just going to explain later like a pet where it gives speed you're going to be running at high speeds and you can be able to get all the trees in the foraging part so let me just yeah so you have your armor the next set of uh, armor you can use is crystal armor now with crystal armor it gives you a lot of mana so you can just aote spam aspect of the end spam to like different cheese and stuff like that and you pretty much understand what i'm saying the last armor set we have is wise dragon armor it's pretty much like crystal swapping and like and you can use a rogue sword and you can like aote spam and to use AOT, it doesn't require that much mana and wise dragon armor. It also makes you faster if you have a rogue sword. So yeah. So now, what kind of pets should you be using for foraging? There's three types of pets for foraging. There is, first off, we have Ocelot pet. So what does the Ocelot pet do? We're talking about the epic rarity because that's the one that most people use. But the Ocelot pet, my Ocelot pet's level 81. It gives me 40 speed, boosts my foraging XP by 24.3%. Foraging minions work 24.3% faster while on your island. Forge and gives foraging XP boost for your pet. Increases your foraging XP. Now, I put a comment on this for what reason. I could use like an uncommon or rare, but I could have comment on this and I actually got this leveled up pretty fast, you know. So, yeah, there's my Ocelot pet pretty much. It gives you a few speed, so let me just click that. So, if you're. Let me get my Ocelot and if you're going my Young Armor. I'm a bit faster now, so Ocelot's a pretty good foraging pet, but there is one pet. That is better than the Ocelot pet for foraging. Now, oh, we have here is the monkey pet. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the legendary, so I can't explain. I can't show you, I mean, that thing. Okay, so monkey pet actually gives speed too and gives intelligence too. So you can also AOT spam with trees and get speed at the same time. So increases double drop rates for logs by 3.8%. For the legendary one, it decreases the tree capitator like cooldown and it also gives you like more logs you know as a legendary so overall the legendary monkey is the best foraging pet because it gives you the most foraging xp and it'll make you the most money in high pixel skyblock while foraging so here's the monkey pet let me 
put that there. Next up we have the draft pet. Like honestly, nobody uses this pet. I don't even know why this is a thing. The draft pet, it gives you crit chance and health and increases your regen. And there's another perk. But I know draft pet's not that good for foraging, so let me just put this there. Alright, now lastly we have one more thing to show off. Alright, here we go. Now if you want to increase your foraging XP, you can use your forge XP boost. So now that we explain all the armor sets, the axes, the pets, all that kind of stuff, we're going to be doing some forging ourselves. So let's head off to the... Where is it? Let's go to the castle, actually. So the reason I am at the castle is because... If you want to start forging, your first time to get forging level 1. To get forging level 1, you have to mine these trees right here. And you have to mine oak trees right here. And once you're done mining oak trees, you're going to go over here and you head to the park. Now, at the park, there is a bunch of different trees, different types of trees. So, first off in the park is we have is the birch wood. Then we have, okay, we have birch wood here. You can do some fishing here, I might as well. Then we have spruce wood. And then we have, oh my gosh, I can't get up there. Uh, let me check something. Party max. Okay, there we go. So here we go. This is the what's it called? What's it? The dark thicket. So dark thicket is the best one for foraging XP because there's multiple logs at once. For example, if I break this here, uh, wait, that's not a, that's a bad example. If I break this here, I'm basically taking apart this whole tree, kind of. You know, I mean, you just only need two hits and you're pretty much taking out the whole tree. And all, all these trees will respawn. By the way, they don't break them and you don't they won't respawn ever. They will always respawn. Just you know, just to say that. So yeah, those are, so this is the Dark Thicket, this gives you the most foraging XP. Now, the Dark Thicket is not good for money, but it does, does give you a lot of XP and all that kind of, oh my god, I need to, what's it called, max, do I have to put all these to max? Okay, wait, um, yeah, so the Dark Thicket gives you a lot of foraging XP, so let's head off to the, let's head off to the Acacia area. And then, once we're at the Acacia area, so we're at the Acacia area, the Savannah Woodland. And basically, Acacia Woods here, you know, you can find some Acacia Wood. And there's nothing good in Acacia Collection worth grinding for, because in Dark Oak, there's actually some things to grind for, like, growth armor and getting Mastiff and all that kind of stuff. For Acacia, there's not really anything good to farm in Acacia. If you go into Collection, if you go into Forging, go into Acacia. There's the Savannah Bow, that's a good recipe, I guess. Savannah Bow, yeah. The Venable is okay, I'd say. Um, and then for, let's say, um, so like Dark Oak, there's actually some really useful things. Growth books. We have Helmet of Growth, Growth Armor, all this kind of stuff. And it's just really useful in general, you know. So next off we have here is, let me think. So we have is the, the what's it called? The Jungle Island. So basically in the Jungle Island, there is a bunch of jungle trees everywhere. Now, jungle makes more money than dark oak wood right now. now I'm not sure this has changed, like, because all the prices for wood will change and the bazaar is random. And, you know, wood prices go up and down depending on, like, what, if they add new updates to, like, different kinds of wood, like, what kind of things will add pretty much. So the wood prices will go up and down always. So right now, jungle is pretty decent for money. It's actually, yeah, it's actually good for money. Jungle and oak, I think, right now are good for money. But like yet again that will change and maybe for example birch will be worth a lot for example spruce will be worth a lot you never know they'll do updates and wood prices will always change so yeah jungle is also decent for forging xp but overall the dark thicket gets the best place to farm forging xp this one just makes money and gives it i think this is the second best place to get forging xp because the jungle trees are really tall and we use a tree capitator you take down the whole tree pretty much which is pretty cool so yeah and so yeah, Dark Thicket, I recommend for forging XP at the most. Jungle is good for money. Cage is not that good. Spruce is good for money. Oak is decent for money. You know, all these prices will change, like I said before. Now, those are all the woods. Um, I'm not sure if I have anything else to say, but let me think a bit. So yeah, I think, actually, I don't really know. Is that going to be it for the end of the video? Oh yeah, this forging XP boost, forgot to... Test this out and all that kind of stuff. Uh, let me just drink this, actually. This is a forging XP boost 3, if I already explained this. You earn 20% more forging experience. So right now, so if we use the you know, Ocelot, we're getting 8.9 forging XP. Wait, if I use Superior, will I get more? 
No, I won't. Okay, never mind. It doesn't increase the boost. Okay, so I'm gonna go back into Young. Okay, so if I drink this Forging XP boost, XP boost potion, I'll gain 20% more Forging XP. So right now with my Ocelot, I get the Lady One Ocelot. I'm getting 8.9 Forging XP. So if I drink this Forging XP boost three, find a thing right here. Oh wait, so we're gaining. Okay, so we got 8.9 before. So we're at 10.7 now. So that increased our Forging XP by a bit. You know, that increased it by a bit. And yeah, so I recommend using forging XP, like getting god splashes and all that kind of stuff. I have 53 minutes. So yeah, that's pretty much... Nope, we still have more things to say, never mind. So while forging, obviously you're going to need some speed. So I say but Young is the best armor for forging. Um, let's see, Crystal? I don't know, Crystal is good. Yeah, wise? I say Wise is second best, Crystal is third best, you know. So yeah, you can drink any kind of potions, it really doesn't matter, but I, I recommend Rabbit and Speed and Forging XP Boost 3 if you're really tryharding Forging. So yeah, that's going to be it. Wait, no wait. Yeah, yeah, I recommend using Speed and all that kind of stuff like that. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope everyone enjoyed this very explained video on Forging. Unfortunately, it was a short video because it was not much to explain about Forging, but you can use some like, you can use like, wood minions i guess those ones but you can just like put super compactors in your wood minions that's a good way of getting forging xp but like pretty much these are like two of the only two ways to get forging xp right now and if you actually use actually if you use a let me let me let me check something if you go into your talisman bag let me take all this enchanted pearl use this if you want to make your forging so much easier you want to make your life so much easier you just Super compact everything. You can super compact this enchanted dark oak. So like I put that in my personal compactor. And then now when I'm mining. Let's see. Let's just keep going to different trees, you know. Um yeah, we we're getting like different we were getting like a bunch of enchanted dark oak and all that kind of stuff. And the enchanted variant of that wood. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep on farming this. As you can see, it will just super compact it automatically, which is really cool. You can also use a foraging sack. Which is in like collection foraging. Um, uh, let me see. Look for the thing. Where's the foraging sack? I swear it's foraging sack. Sack. I mean, it's like somewhere. Uh, it was like one of the. Here we go. What's it called? Birchwood. Yeah, birchwood. Okay, so we have a recipe for a small foraging sack. And it's not good at all. So I recommend using like a medium to a large foraging sack. And that'll just keep your wood in there so your inventory doesn't get clogged with a bunch of woods and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, see, personal compactor and uh, and the forging sacks will be doing very good for you. Oh, I forgot to test with haste. So my speed with uh, without it, haste is like, you know, it, it's pretty decent, I'd say. You just do that. Just do that, but with haste. You drink a haste 3. And as you can see, I'm breaking a bit faster than before. So this is actually very efficient. My forging XP is going up quite a bit right now. So if you just like, so right now I'm actually like forging. What is it? Forging. I'm forging 26. I'm not almost 27, but I'm getting close to 27. You know. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope everyone enjoyed this video, and I hope this helped you on in forging. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe, and if you subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Peace out, guys. Bye.